Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I think is quite exciting. I recently made my first bit of money from creating content and posting it on YouTube so I just thought I would come on and sort of give a little bit of a story, like a story time as to how I actually, how it happened I guess. Um, so yeah, I've got my cup of tea and I guess we'll just get right into the video. So if you're not familiar with how people actually make money on YouTube, I know when I do speak to people about creating content and that I post videos on YouTube, a lot of people aren't aware that you can actually make money from it. So there are a couple of ways and the first way and I suppose the most common way is through ad revenue. So that is when a YouTuber posts a video on YouTube if they meet a certain criteria set by YouTube there will be ads in their YouTube videos and normally you can skip these after like three seconds or ten seconds and basically the YouTuber is paid to have those adverts in those videos so there are they have to have at least a 10 minute video and they also they get to set how many adverts are in their video as well so if you're watching a video and you're like god there's so many adverts in this video the youtuber has actually set that there are more adverts in that video so that they can gain more revenue so it also works on obviously how many views each video gets so it's sort of how um far your audience is being reached so if you have a video that has a million views that's obviously gonna earn you more money than a video that only has a thousand views so you do actually have to have a set criteria to earn ad revenue and that is you have to have 1000 subscribers and you also have to have 4000 hours of public watch time in the last 12 months so i don't meet any of those criteria as of yet i am hoping that in 2020 I will reach at least one of them, hopefully both of them, but that is my goal for 2020. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do. And also watch this video to the end because that gives me the watch hours. So anyway, the second way I know that YouTubers and also Instagram influencers make money is through brand sponsorships. So a brand will approach someone who they know has quite a, a big audience that watches them and they will pay them, they will, they will sponsor the video so that at the start of the video they will say this video was sponsored by so and so and basically they have agreed upon a, an amount that the YouTuber will be paid by the brand to advertise their product in the video. There's also, you'll see a lot of um, influencers on Instagram, they'll put like ad gifted in their Instagram story. It just means that they've been sent that um, product by a brand. I don't think they really have any obligation to actually talk about it the brand will just give them something for free in the hopes that it will appear on like their YouTube channel or their Instagram stories or posts. So that is the main way that people make money on YouTube. And up until recently, that was the only way I thought people could make money on YouTube. So basically what happened to me was on the 16th of March, I was approached by a media group on Instagram and they basically sent me a message and I'm gonna read it off my iPad. They put, we'll buy your video with a hearts emoji and put, my name is Giovanna. I work for you and we want to buy your donate in here video. Do you get money for your content already? So when I first saw this, I was a bit like, what the heck? I'd never heard of Fabiosa Media Group before. So before I even replied, I did a quick search and I saw that they have like different variations of the, they have quite a presence on social media even though I hadn't heard of them before but I did know that like media groups will buy people's viral videos and they will re-edit them and then put them onto their social media platform so anyway so I was in the office um where I work at the time and I said to the guys in my office I was like oh what do you think of this and they were like mm, don't do it it sounds weird and then we were sort of talking about it and I was like no let's just ask what their type of offer would be so i didn't say if i already earned money from my content or or not um i just said hello what type of offer would you be making so it's quite blank i just wanted to see obviously what the offer would and they replied saying hey thank you for your reply we'd like to buy this video and then they put a link to the video where i cut off most of my hair i actually cut off 11 
and a half inches of my hair. I used to have very long hair and I just decided I wanted to change. So I cut it and I donated it to charity and I filmed it and it's up on my video, uh, sorry, it's up on my channel. And it's also the video on my channel that has the most views. As of yesterday, I think it had like 3,200 views. So yeah, it's, it's the best video on my channel by a country mile. So obviously someone from their team had seen it and had thought that it would fit their brand very well to sort of re-edit it and put it out on their social media, our Facebook pages all together. Here's one of our projects and she sent me a link to um, something that they'd already done in a similar way. Uh, she put, let me tell you about our conditions for you to understand what purchase means. Our company gets the rights to your video, you supply us with the source files of the video and you don't post it or send it to third parties after this transaction. So initially I was like, oh no, am I gonna have to take it off my YouTube channel? Because if they own it, they own the content, they own the rights, they own the footage, I no longer own that. I'm just essentially, a, not an actor, but I'm just a person in that video. It doesn't belong to me anymore. So I was a little bit like, oh, I knew that it happens, but I was a bit like, I don't know if I wanted to give up that content because it is the best viewed video on my channel. And also I worked really hard to edit that and I just enjoyed making it and I was proud of it. So I wasn't sure that I wanted to sort of give it up. So anyway, she put, we offer 60 USD for copyright transfer for this first agreement. And in the future, if you're interested, we can discuss a monthly production payment for this type of content. I'd like to clarify that do we that we do not insist on taking the video down from the channel after copyright transfer. You may keep it gaining views and developing your channel, but you are to mention. Once I read that I could keep it on my channel, I was actually a little bit more intrigued, I guess. And the fact that she had already mentioned um, monetary gain. So when she said, we'll buy your video, I thought they were gonna offer me like 20 quid. I really didn't think I was gonna get a lot because at this point as well, I think I, I had um, maybe less than 2,000 views on that video. So I was a bit like, oh, it's, you know, I've got 2,000 views on other videos. This has never happened to me before. So I was kind of like, I was quite excited actually, because it felt like someone was recognizing the content that I was producing and somebody was interested in it. So um, I replied saying, okay, I am interested, but I think the offer is too low to give up the rights to my video. I worked really hard on the content and wouldn't be willing to give up the rights for 60 US dollars because that is about 40 quid in Great British Pounds, because obviously I'm British. Um, would you be willing to revise the offer? And I laughed at that. Um, she put, I understand, smiley face. Do you have an offer that you think is fair for you? And because I'd never done this before, I really didn't know how high or low to go in. So I put, is it okay if I have a think about what offer would be fair? Also to confirm, would you be able to post a link to my YouTube channel when posting content on your, sh on your socials? So basically, the for me, gaining exposure to my channel would have been more important than gaining money like for the transaction. Obviously, like I said earlier, I am really hoping to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time on my YouTube channel by the end of this year. So if they had posted the content to their 20 million subscribers and just posted like a little link to say, um, this is uh, Courtney's YouTube channel, and I had gained even like 10 subscribers from that, that would have been more beneficial to me than having sort of the 60 US dollars or however much money they were willing to offer me. For me, getting the exposure to my channel was really what I wanted to gain. But um, she put, of course, you could take your time to think, and unfortunately we can't link to accounts due to Facebook policies and according to the agreement we use. So I kind of thought that's fair enough. Obviously they are a, a business at the end of the day. They also want to gain as much ad revenue from the content that they're gonna be publishing. So then to publish sort of another YouTube channel, the likelihood is that someone might click on the YouTube channel and not watch their video so that they wouldn't gain the revenue from the adverts on Facebook. So I kind of got it. I, it was just sort of a long shot really, but you know, whatever. So I sort of did a little bit of research and I know that there are a couple of media groups already. Like I knew that this goes on. You've probably seen it on Facebook and not really even 
taken into account before what happens but as you're scrolling through Facebook and you see like a two minute video and you watch it and you think it's funny whatever there'll be a 30 second advert in the middle and then at the end of the video normally a little pop-up will come up saying do you have content we'll send uh, we'll pay a hundred pounds I think it's normally about the price well I think between 100 and 200 pounds so I'd seen that on like, I know that the variations of like Lad Bible and like Uni Lad, those sort of ones do it. Um, uh, that's all I can think about at the top of my head, but there are loads of people that do it. And if you'll, you'll start noticing it now that at the end, they will say, we'll buy your content and they'll put a price. So I put, looking at the price paid by other social media groups for content, plus my YouTube channel not getting any exposure from the transaction, I'd be looking for around uh, 200 great british pounds so i knew that i was being a little bit ballsy going in on this i knew that that i knew that they wouldn't pay that much money but i knew that if i went higher than i was sort of expecting then we would meet in the middle obviously that's just sort of how it works she put i see i understand that you worked the work you put into this video we usually buy this type of content for 50 to 60 usd because we don't ask the person to delete the video but i can make an offer for 100 usd for this video and you may keep it on your channel and promoting your work and even you can share a publication saying it was viewed by thousands of people but really 100 usd is my maximum offer what do you think do we have a deal and i just want um so i put yes that sounds like a deal to me i knew i probably wasn't going to get much more than that and it would just be wasting time just going back and forth so she put perfect i'd like to ask your full name blah 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 so basically once we agreed they then sent me out on a contract so this was like a an, an official legally binding contract and basically i read through it i couldn't really see anything that was unfair about it um i also asked dom to read it over as well just because i had never done anything like this before obviously dom's never done anything like this before so just sort of oh i also asked like my family as well i was like guys what do you think of this and everyone said like it was really good it was exciting and i should do it so anyway so they sent me a contract read through it i signed it and i sent over all of the files through um, on Dropbox and they also I asked them if they just wanted the um, edited video which I think is about 10 minutes long um, or I said they could have all of the footage which is like 30 minutes long it's mainly just me my mum and my sister talking rubbish while my mum's cutting my hair so they asked for the whole thing obviously they don't want to just put out a video that's like exactly the same as mine they probably want to put their own little spin on it um, they may put a different narrative on it. I'm not sure how they'll do it. So I gave them all the footage. So obviously they now own all of that. So they can do what they like with it. So um, at the end of the contract, there was also an invoice. So I had to obviously state how I wanted to be paid. And I thought just the safest method would be PayPal. So that's how I did it. And it did say that it could take up to 10 working days. And I was a bit like, oh God, I've sent over all my footage. I've changed the description in my YouTube video. I don't own that contact, that content anymore. I've signed a contract. If I now don't get paid, I don't know what I'll do. So anyway, I was a little bit worried, but I felt like everything was really professional. So I kind of was like, right, stop overthinking. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna get paid. So um, basically once all that was done, um, Giovanna sent me a really nice message just saying hey Courtney everything is perfect thank you so much for sending everything I'm sending the process forward now we just have to wait for your payment I'd like to ask can you confirm with me when you receive it that way I'll be able to make sure everything went like planned okay so I thought that was really nice now that she had the footage she could have literally just been like right see ya but you know she wanted to make sure that obviously I felt okay with how the transaction had gone so I just put yeah not a problem um and then so it was on the 16th of March that the initial um, discussions began about wanting to buy my video. That's when they first sent me a message. And um, I think I sent over all my content on the 18th. And then it was on the Friday just gone. Friday just gone was the 20th. So it was Monday the 16th that um, the discussions began. And by Friday the 20th, I had actually received my payment on PayPal. And yeah, that was it. So it was 100 US dollars that I was sent, which converted to Great British Pounds is, uh, I think 
it was like 78 pounds i think i was paid all together so i mean i'm pretty pleased with that that is really good i obviously don't earn any money from the content that i create at the moment it at the moment it is just a hobby that i really enjoy it's just a way of having a creative outlet i guess so to then actually get something back from it it felt really good and i was really proud so yeah um i they did actually say like i read out that there may be opportunity to work with them again in the future so i am definitely gonna look out for that i told myself that i'm not gonna spend any money on creating youtube videos until i can i actually start earning money from youtube videos like i said it is just a hobby at the moment so yeah, I don't want to spend money. So that £80 I've put towards buying a new camera because at the moment all I do is I just film on my phone in front of a window. Like today, it's a really nice sunny day today, so I've got really good lighting. So yeah, I would like to um, invest in getting better equipment so that I can create better content and hopefully earn more views and reach a wider audience. But for now, I just do it on my phone. So to work with them in the future would be really good because I can obviously put more money towards that and yeah so um I also asked if I could put up this video today um at the time of this recording I actually I'm just going to send them uh the edited version just so that they their legal department can check through it and just make sure that they're happy with it I didn't want to sort of ruin any future or potential future um working with them so if in this video I haven't mentioned the name of it, that's because they didn't want me to keep it in and I've taken it out. Uh, but if you do know the name, then obviously you know that everything was fine and they were happy for me to post this. So at the moment, um, at the moment, the video still hasn't been published, but as soon as it is, they're gonna send me a link so I can see what they've done with the video online. And yeah, I do hope that I get to work with them again in the future because the whole process was so, um, it was so easy, like I signed the contract, sent over the footage and then within a couple of days I was paid. I never felt like I was being pressured or that they were being unfair. So yeah, I was really pleased. I definitely would recommend um, if it happens to anyone else. I don't think that there was any sort of disadvantages from it. If you're not already earning money from a video on YouTube, then it's a great way to make a little bit of extra money. So if you are approached in the future and you're a bit unsure then let me like you know send me any questions or whatever because I thought the whole process was really smooth really easy and I would definitely do it again so okay so that is it guys I've just sat here and rumbled 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 onto my camera for the last 20 minutes I'm gonna finish my cup of tea now and yeah don't forget to check out my other videos like share and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you guys in the next one